Hello everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to the free video, Simpler Futures. Going to be for Thursday's trade, getting uh, February kicked off today. We had the Fed, FOMC rate decision, and it was a, uh, a hold as in no change in policy as uh, expected. I say expected because that was what was priced in to... Um, into the market and by way of like the Fed funds futures they were looking at uh, very high probability no change and since that's what we got we didn't get a lot here in the way of uh, volatility because that was pretty much priced in so uh, what does this mean and going forward all right this is gonna have to bear with me here for a minute okay because where you can see that we were actually uh, you know we had a bid some time during the session that did not hold very well settled in the middle this in and of itself would imply sideways to actually even I wouldn't be surprised sideways to lower a little bit more in the way of a retracement the real tell though I have to say again just like last time I'm, I know you I probably sound like a broken record but here it is look a dip with the wick on the low rejection of the lows same there Wick on the low, rejection of the lows, rejection, 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 rejection. And so even if um, we do see what I would anticipate, this would setting up for actually a, a little dip, the tell will be in how does it trade on and off, preferably, of those lows. So if we dip down again, I want to see, like we've been seeing, a rejection of the lows, trade the firmer the better which is what I'm anticipating, I'll tell you, because typically we see the trade higher into the payroll. So with a dip down, I want to see the rejection of those lows trade up, close firmer, the better. Up in like this would be nice. That sets up for a do not fade this as likely higher throughout the evening, Thursday evening and into the Friday report. The ADP number was this morning. And it rocked. I mean, it was 80-something thousand better than anticipated or projected. So that being a precursor, if you will, to Friday's number would imply that, you know, we get a, a decent number on Friday. Um, the earnings have been good. Apple, Facebook just reported and beat. Um, that's U.S. Abroad, you've got Siemens and Volvo beat. Uh, you got M&A activity as is you know is good i mean johnson and johnson's in the middle of a 30 billion uh, dollar acquisition you know so things are good um yes this would imply some uh retracement but again the key as i'm seeing it anyway is how do we handle the the lows in this retracement if we keep getting these rejection of the lows like this then it's not bearish it's a retracement certainly um and you know and as long as the you know we keep seeing the buy the dip kind of theme then it's all good so that's what i'm looking for hopefully uh hopefully this helps I do, though, need to hop over into the premium video. We got some things really, really um, setting up nicely over there. We've been looking for some particular trade in gold, the euro, the dollar, the treasuries. We're getting a lot of good um, follow through there, also in the grains. And so, got some good trade going on over there. I need to hop over and do that real quick. I uh, hope this helps and makes sense for the free video uh, tonight. Again, this would imply sideways actually a little bit lower. With that, I want to see rejection of the lows. We firm uh, up into the latter part of the session, close nicely like this. That implies follow through throughout uh, the evening Thursday and into the number, which uh, by the ADP this morning would imply a decent number on Friday. So. Hope this helps. Good trade. Nice evening. Look forward to being with you again at the next update. Good night.